Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Rampage Ranter. And basically in the in the style of Maryland, basically I'm gonna be fighting a legendary Pokemon and showing you on video how the best way to catch it. Um Okay. Let me show you something that, you know, Marilyn never really said this, which I'm flabbergasted that he didn't think of this. Maybe he did and just forgot. Um, now you see half of my Pokemon are from, you know, different regions. Or technically Magna, whatever. Um... Technically, technically it was a mag magneton when I traded it over to Pearl, but whatever. Basically, I, you're gonna want to have these types of Pokemon, these designated Pokemon, Pokemon that are used for a certain thing. Designated Effector, Budu. Budu has stun spore. That'll be really helpful. Designated healer, Magnezone. It's basically, Magnezone can take a bunch of hits. Um, it is resistant to the two attacking moves that Rotom has, the other two moves. I'll get to that later. I'll get to the four moves later when we start fighting him. Um, Quacks, Aerodactyl, and Flare are just Pokemon I'm using. Oh, except for Quacks. I'm just using. Quacks is an HM slave. Rayquaza, designated uh, catcher, basically. I switch out to him and just throw a bunch of balls. Pretty much. He can take a bunch of hits. Technically, you don't really need uh, a designated catcher and healer when you're fighting Rotom. But it's helpful in other situations, such as Giratina, Dialga, stuff like that. Palkia, any legendaries. I mean, like Giratina at any level, whether it's level 70 or 47. I love that level 4 Dialga. Level 47 just fits. I don't know. I've already saved my game. So, without further ado, let's. Fight Rotom and catch him, hopefully. <clears throat> Alright, Rotom, he is level 20. The moves he has are Double Team, Confuse Ray, Uproar, and Thundershot. He learns Ominous Wind at level 22. I'm going to start off with Stun Spore. He's going to use Thundershot, which isn't that great against the grass types. Maybe par it's paralyzed. So now that's pretty much over. We switch out to. Dang, I'm a Magnezone. Uh, not Magnezone. Uh, Aerodactyl Aerodac needs some training. Oh, look at that. That would. Bad luck on my part. Flame wheel. It does minor damage. The pa paralysis does is really helpful. Even though I'm confused, I'm actually hitting a lot, which is really good. Ooh, wow, that's a lot. Now, I'm going to switch out to Quacks. The reason why is because I want him to die, so that way, um, Badoo gets a turn. Because if I just switch out to Badoo, he would take a hit. You know. Quax has no water type moves. Which I guess is okay. Well, he has water sport. Let's do that. For the fun of it. Hmm. 
One thing I've never gotten is why does much sport exist? It's useless. The majority, if not all the Pokemon that have that move, are part ground type. And much sport weakens electric electricity's power. So what's the point? I'm gonna absorb here. Hopefully, that actually is pretty good. But he's gonna use up here. It's gonna make it difficult for Buddy to survive. Hopefully, if I just keep absorbing, I'll stay alive. Well, that's, that's probably not gonna happen. This is like the perfect time. I'm gonna use a Premier Ball just because I think I might be using Golden in a different team. I might trade him over to something, I don't know. So here's Pokeball. I, I really wanted to catch him in a Premier Ball, but whatever. Rotom Zeta was added to the Pokedex. Rotom is the Plasma Pokemon, and it looks so cute! I kinda... just... I still want to use this thing on my team. Fan Rotom looks freaking awesome! Um... It's electric... like body can enter some kinds of machines and take control in order to make mischief. So, I'm just looking, look, I like the head the most. It just kind of looks a weird shape. I don't know. Do I have a nickname for Rotom? No, not really. Hmm? Oh. Now, something I'd like to show you. In the room next to, in the room next to Rotom's room, you can find a dread plate around here. I think it's right here. Here. I already got it from a pre-recording because I recorded and then something happened. And it had to get scrapped. You can find a ghastly here at the old, ch old chateau. And I believe in the far right room you can find substitute. So that's pretty much it. That's really all the there is for the old chateau. But yeah, it's really, that's just it, um, saving a lot of data, all I did was catch a, a Rotom, oh, and by the way, if I haven't said this, Rotom's catch rate is 40, which is more than a chat on, I'm not kidding you, I'll even, if I remember it, I'll give a link to PokemonMaryland.com, the page where it has Rotom's, uh, data on it, on the Pokedex, if I remember. Or if, like, if a link accidentally brings you to something stupid, um, I'm sorry because I've had trouble with links in the past. But, um... Magnezone looks pretty cool. Yeah, Rotom, I recommend it, especially if you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna use the, um, Rotom forms. I think I'm like, that'll be a long time though. If Pokemon, if there ever is going to be a Pokemon Gray, I might use Rotom and Bikini, because I have Bikini from that one event. So yeah, that was Rotom, um, and catching it and all that stuff. There's really nothing else here. Oh, there's some items. Old 
and get what? Okay. Must be like some sort of thing. Wow, it's really descriptive. Let's go over here. Just now, I'm intrigued. To show off all the items. Look in the trash can. Oh no, I'm watching the Earthbound. Something so picky. There's no makeup. What? Okay. There must be something behind here. There. Ha okay. Jeez. Um. Yeah, you can only catch Rotom. Um. Between one to four, you can change the time. Oh, by the way, you can stop watching me now. Um, I'm just gonna look for items. No, no, no. Fair candy. That's good. I'm gonna give that to my Aerodactyl. Wait, what? Eh, that might be useful. Um, where's our adactyl? Right here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, as I go along in this game, I will be showing off legendary battles because I really like them. And truth be told, the reason I did this video dates back to when I first saw Maryland's videos because he was the one who inspired me to make videos in the first place. So yeah, you can thank him for this if it doesn't suck. If it does, definitely thank him for it. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll stop. See ya.